Today we are present at IIT Guwahati with two prominent professors from the Department of Computer Science, Dr. Sukanta Bhattacharjee and Professor Chandan Karpa. Welcome to Business Northeast, sir. They are going to share with us the process and how LEAP is going to help with the coming semiconductor industry. So let's get into it. Thank you. Uh, so uh, let us first into, uh, talk about this overall electronic design automation process. So if you look into the semiconductor industry, we develop chips that has billion number of transistors, right? And that cannot be done manually, that one person see it and connect all the transistors. So what this electronic design automation software does is basically try to automate this process and give you the final layout automatically from the specification itself. So in this process, we have a lot of electronic design automation software and there are many industries that support such softwares. And these particular softwares are very complex and run on a big uh, design. The design has million or billion number of more sorts of designs. So, uh, so that's why the start runtime of the softwares are quite high and it sometimes takes days to synthesize some design into layout. So one of the research objective of our group is to expedite this process in the sense, can I make this particular uh, electron design automation process faster? And with the advancement of machine learning technologies, we try to take help from the machine learning technologies and try to adapt those technology inside the EDR tool to make this process first. And LEAP is one such approach. In the LEAP, what we do is we try to map your design, which is in generic, in, uh, in, in, in you have a generic design. You have to map that design to the technology library, the library that will be finally be implemented in the chip. So in during this uh, mapping process, one of the uh, difficult tasks is that you have this, you have to take a part of the circuit and you have to try to map to a one of the library. So in this process, the existing tool takes a lot of time and this problem is basically computation and hard problem. So what we did, we understood here that there are a lot of repetition of the same process in the entire uh, circuit. So an ML technique can learn those patterns and can take a quick decision or help the EDA tool to map those designs easily to the uh, in the final technology library. So that is what LEAP does. So sir, how did you came with the idea of this LEAP that it is going to help in the coming semiconductor industry that is going to be formed in India soon? Yeah, so, okay, so in LEAP we are actually targeting the problem of logic synthesis, right? So, so this problem is that um, it starts with a given a Boolean equation or a, or a circuit representation and that circuit representation need to be represented by means of some logic gates right so it's a huge network right so there are many algorithms that need to be run in order to give a optimized optimized netlist right so you need this optimization because um, ultimately you need less number of transistor to fabricate this right so uh, so this so far these existing algorithms are actually using some kind of heuristic techniques they are using right so so in so in so in recent days um, there's there are there are a lot of um, applications of, of of actually machine learning that are actually transforming this process into a very a very efficient one so 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 we are actually motiv motivated uh, by this because there are a lot of work is going on using this machine learning in EDA domain so so we actually choose one of the one of the cutting edge uh, cutting edge software that is ABC that use some traditional algorithms to transform that process, right? So, so, so what we did actually, we try to uh, update some of the existing algorithms that are ABC using with a machine learning model. So, uh, so with with this idea, we actually try to uh, optimize this circuit, and ultimately, after doing uh, a lot of painful. Uh, iteration process and our students also did very well so so ultimately we got a very exciting outcome and and we and we actually published in a very top tier con the, the conference and it is one of the one of the leading conference in this electronic design automation okay so ultimately uh, with this uh, initiative it is going to be of great advantage to the yeah, semiconductor yes, industry yes of course as uh, compared to the traditional things. yes uh, because these things so that ultimately ultimately we need to reduce the cheap fabrication cost right so so this um, more the better your logic synthesis process is, your ultimate cheap cost will be reduced, reduced drastically. So, so it's a very important uh, tool uh, that we are using to optimize this uh, Boolean circuit. 
Yes, sir. Could you please elaborate the machine uh, learning technology that is used in the? Yeah. So, so as a so as a so as a machine learning techniques, uh, we actually used uh, very basic machine learning techniques. But this main challenge here is to understand the underlying tech underlying technology that the existing tool used, right? So that take a lot of thing, right? So we need to understand that how we can. Uh, Uh, how we can use our machine learning to uh, uh, to uh, uh, to make this uh, process efficient so so for that we uh, we need to understand the understand the existing uh, implementation of this abc so 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 that is a huge a huge burden for us right but we successfully cracked it and we use some basic machine learning tools such as um, classification and 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 regression technique to ultimately come up with this idea yeah so exactly what uh, dr watajaj ji talked about uh, is it's not about which machine learning model you use where you effectively use so one of the important thing that we identified that the tool enumerated different possibilities for a node to be mapped and we found that this tool go for thousands of such uh, 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 sub uh, the pattern that can be mapped to the technology and we found that 90% of them are useless right so that is our machine learning technique actually classify that 90% of them you should not consider during mapping and that helps a lot so this is basically you have to identify what exactly you are doing uh, the machine learning technique is not that great but you have to use it correctly in the first then it will help okay. so sir now that we have come with this initiative so is it like how are you pitching it to the industry and how are they going to recognize you so yeah so if you look into the semiconductor ecosystem it's not about only the chip right so you have the eda entire eda software as uh, dr vartasiji mentioned that you have high level synthesis then logic synthesis physical synthesis the lot of industry and today itself we have a discussion with one of the leading company they are interested about our work and we are actually try to work together to make the process better uh, in addition to that you have also verification when you build a chip you have to verify You, if you know that any processor that Intel or any big companies develop, they need months to verify, simulate the design. Is there a corner bug? Right? Because if one corner bug is not identified in the verification process, which might take probably million or billion dollar uh, wastage for the company, because if it goes to market and the fault has been identified, right? So there are a lot of research is going on. We already have a close relation with one of the leading semiconductor company on how to make this. Machine learning process can help in uh, improving the verification process. We also have the security thing, right? So nowadays you probably heard of lot of security issues. Your uh, computer being hacked, yes. and there are a lot of this kind of hacking is possible from the hardware side. There may be some vulnerability in the hardware through which attacker can uh, go and try to uh, uh, hack your system and all, right? So this semiconductor is not about only the chip or the uh, the transistors. You have all this complex software that will do the synthesis. verification all the security checks so the lab that we are belong to called automation verification and security lab we are actively working on all those kind of projects and we are closely working with the industry to make this uh, whatever the research we try to do uh, make it become transitional mm-hmm. and goes to the actual uh, semiconductor industry and with the initiative that uh, that the government of india have now is building this fabrication lab in india one in, in guwahati particular So I think we all this research is very much important uh, to make this ecosystem in India. So do they will pr- provide any kind of fund regarding that so, so that you can carry on with the initiatives? Yes. So we had a discussion with couple of industry now, and they have some research grant. Mm-hmm. We are applying for that, and uh, hopefully we'll get those funds. We already have couple of funds. We have funds from Semiconductor Research Corporation for this kind of research. We have fund from Qualcomm. We have fund from Intel. So we already have uh, close co- uh, close collaboration with the industry. Today we have a meeting with Google. So we have we are expecting more funds to come to support our research. Okay. Can you mention any lump sum amount of fund that will be required or which you have already? So uh, to so as we are doing is try to use the uh, leverage the uh, perform use of the machine learning technique in. Improving the semiconductor mm-hmm. uh, industry, so this does not need you huge fund. We need mm-hmm. some funding for supporting our manpower, mm-hmm. and we obviously need certain server, some GPU servers because you have to run those uh, big ML model over the big designs, right? Mm-hmm. So, and many a time we need the design because mm-hmm. in the public you don't have the design. So we have, uh, we, have uh, we are talking with many industry where they can try to give us some form of the design which is not uh, that confidential. 
or maybe the older version of some processor to us so that we can uh, we can use them for our learn I and mean, learning the things from them. So we have we need all those things and I think that this industry is quite supportive to us. We are uh, in advanced stage of uh, discussing with a couple of industries so that we can bring more funds to supporting our research. So there are actually many students who are working in this project and and this frankly speaking students are the workforce for this project right so so here they need to understand a, a million lines of code and then we can use our use our expertise to tell them that where we can use this ml so this most of the hard work actually done by the students right so so on top of their work uh, we are actually building all these ml models and all these things okay so they are going to be the backbone already. yeah of course so uh, thank you so much for sharing with us the insights of Leap. And so here we come to an end with the conversation. I, Shweta Das, along with cameraman Rajkumar Prasad, keep watching Business Notice until next episode. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.